like the Valley Girl. I live in Silicon Valley, the heart of innovative technology. I know where all these awesome companies are, but how the heck did they get here? That's what I'm here to find out. I'm like the Valley Girl. What do you do? Hi, I'm like the Valley Girl. Don't you just love puppies? In fact, I think I'd have a lot more of them if I didn't have to deal with the poopy factor. Who wants a poopy puppy? <laughs> Our next guest has figured out an amazing solution to the common puppy poopy problem. Please welcome Mr. Scott Soracek and Mr. Ron Hornbaker of FooPets.com. Thanks for coming out here. Hi, Jesse. <laughs> have a seat. I'm Ron. Hi, Ron. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. So, how are you guys doing today? Doing well, thanks. Please, please help how yourself you? to some, you know, some tea. Pink tea. Some pink tea. So I like pink, if you can't tell that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for having us today. Oh, of course. Ron, tell me a little bit about your history. So I sort of got the entrepreneurial bug in uh, veterinary school, I guess. I started uh, doing the <laughs> class That's an newsletter. interesting place to get the entrepreneur bug. Yeah, yeah. I would Oftentimes. think you get fleas or something. <laughs> <laughs> so you're both very experienced entrepreneurs. What is an entrepreneur? You want to go first? Sure. So, I mean, we think of entrepreneurs as anybody that have creative ideas, come up with, uh, you know, a new and innovative product or ways in which they can take a product or a service to market in ways that other people have not done so far. Ron, what do you think an entrepreneur is? Tunnel vision on one idea. <laughs> Make it happen. It's the creative process. The mover and the shaker. Giving birth to something new. What do you think is the most difficult part of starting a company? I actually think starting a company is the easiest thing to do. The hard part is uh, getting others to believe in your idea, put money behind it. Tell me about foodpets.com. So I'm a veterinarian by, by education and uh, I've been in the tech world for about a decade and I always want to get back to my love of animals some way. And I, I love never... animals. Do you have pets? I do, I do. This is a picture of my dog Archie and this is a picture of my bird Fluffy and then this is Fluffy. Fluffy looks tired. <laughs> not doing well. So anyway, you know, people are spending more and more of their times online. 25% of our waking hours are spent in front of a computer. So one of the habits from the physical life is to have pets for companions. Very common to have a dog or a cat at home. But when we're online, we don't really have a little companion that hangs out with us. So I decided to create the most realistic puppies and kittens that we could possibly create using artists from Pixar, DreamWorks, etc. And uh, they really come alive and you bond with them just like a real pet. It's a great way to meet people. Yeah. So like taking your puppy to the park, you meet people when they play the with your puppy. And... Very easy okay. to talk about. I haven't taken my puppy to the park. I have to do that. You need to do that, the food <laughs> park. It has a, it's a great interactive 3D game. You'd really like it. We, we don't really fall into an age niche because what age doesn't like cute puppies or cute kittens? So tell me about the animals. Are they hypoallergenic? They are. They are. We haven't had one case of allergies yet. We should go for an endorsement. Of <laughs> but, uh, and no cleaning up after them. Although a lot of yeah. our users do want them to, can I use the P word, poop? Yeah, you can use the <laughs> They actually want them to poop, so we're trying to work the whole number one and number two thing into visuals. Yeah, I actually, I, I wanted to talk to you about something. I adopted a food pet. Her name is Pink and she was a rescue Rottweiler and you know she's doing great but like I do feel like she has some you know some trouble because she eats a lot but it's not coming out the other end. You haven't so seen any any indication no. that she's going? You may want to have that checked out. <laughs> <laughs> to Ron's point we're also bringing in a lot of the realistic um, aspects of taking care of pets and this is talking to the um, children about what it means to take care of a pet before you get a real one. You have to give your pets immunization shots, give them flea baths, things like that. And that's part of our business model is, is virtual goods that you can buy these different services for your pet. And it's kind of like a responsibility thing exactly. too. Exactly. Oh, exactly. that's great. You know, there's all these other virtual worlds out there, but you found like a good niche, real right. virtual. There were a lot of plush toys and dragons and monsters, but we really wanted to do reality. Okay, there's a lot of really awesome sounds on your site. I thought we should make some sounds. Let's make our favorite animal sounds. Scott can do an orangutan. Oh, do, a, do it! <laughs> do an orangutan. <laughs> it's the first thing that what, came to mind. What, what animal did you have in mind? Let's start with a dog. You gonna start? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My best 
best documentation. There you go. Well, that is so great. I think it's time for a break. We'll be back with more fun and food pets after this.